Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and in this class today we'll talk about that service now scripting. So I am basically starting a new series. In this series we'll talk about that service now scripting and then we'll talk about that um, what are the service now object that we are used for the scripting purpose and then I will take input from you guys that any uh, kind of logic or scripting you want to um, build for, for you guys. So based on that your input, I'll build that logic um, in the out-of-box environment definitely share with you guys so let me go back to my documentation first in today's topic so here today we'll talk about that service now scripting and then in this today's class basically we'll cover that service now scripting object so so when we start or when we talk about that service now scripting first of all we should know that what are the scripting object are available for uh, in this service now so if you see, I have the left side server side uh, object and then um, right side is the client side object. So in the left side, all these are server side object. Using this server side object, we can start writing our code. And then right side, all these are client side object. Using that, we can start writing our code on there. So remember that in the server side script, uh, we know that server side script run on the server and then client side run on our browser basically. So server side run on the server side and then client side run on the client or maybe browser side. So in our today, I mean in our this series, uh, our main focus will be um, the scripting part, not this describing that what is this object or maybe what is this object. Instead of that, our main focus will be that uh, how we can write the script on basis of the which requirement which uh, server script object or maybe which client script object should we pick and then we can write the script so i would expect you guys from that where you can um, you basically i created a requirement sheet here under this requirement sheet um, you guys can submit your requirement and based on your requirement i can uh, um, build the requirement in front of you and then share with you guys in in through the video okay so basically this requirement sheet uh, in this class will go through this requirement and then complete your requirement in in this series so make sure uh, when you give the requirement please explain in details so that i understand and then based on that i can take the actions or maybe i can take the decision coming back to this service now script object um, we know that one requirement can be achieved through the various way or maybe various object but we will take that we will try to take that correct decision and then correct uh, which object is good uh, to write the script and then we will try to simplify that scripting and then we will explain you so basically if you see in the left side all this server side script we, in our goal we, our goal will be that utilize all the service all the object with that all the service now available method so we'll take the small small requirement and fulfill that our requirement so we'll start with our server side script first we'll talk about that business to run ui action uh, so this will be our uh, our entry point but we'll mix mix up so we'll today maybe we'll talk about ui action maybe tomorrow we'll talk about the ui policy or maybe client script so we'll mix it up based on the requirement whatever requirement will come up based on that we'll mix up and i'll try to explain you and then um, I'll try to quote that um, and share with you guys. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment sections. Thank you very much. Have a great day.